Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So from today we are going to discuss about the another subject that is DBMS. So DBMS is nothing but the database management system. So the name itself indicates the managing the database. Right? So first we have to know about the database. What is meant by database and uh, where we are using this database and why we are using this uh, DBMS or the database. Right? So first let us see about the data. What is meant by a data? And what is meant by the information? Data and information. So here the data means the raw data or raw facts. So we can say raw facts or raw data and which is in unorganized fashion. Which is in unorganized fashion right so the data will be very large very huge and the information is processing of data and this data we can also call as unprocessed data unprocessed data or unprocessed information so we can call it as unprocessed information right and this is a processing of data so after processing the data we get the information right so this will be in organized fashion organized right for example for example so if a class consists of 60 students the information or the marks or the results so of complete class or a school or college will comes under this data and here the example we can say the average marks or the pass percentage the pass percentage of a school or a college is called the information that means the complete data and the information right so after processing the data we will get the information right now <clears throat> here our subject is what is our subject that is DBMS DBMS means a database so first database so what is meant by this database so database means the collection of data the collection of data so the database will be very large or very high right so from that database we have to retrieve the data that means this database will be having a large amount of data and from this data we have to retrieve Right? So we will create the data and we will retrieve the data based upon some information or based upon some processing. Right? So this is called a database, collection of data. So the objectives, the main objectives of this DBMS is the first one. The mass storage so large amount of data can be stored at a single place that we call it as a database so it can accept large amount of data right so this database can also be represented as DB DB wherever you see this DB that we call it as a database okay then there's a the first object too. The next one, removes duplicates. 
So this database is having an objective that it can remove the duplicates if they occur, right? It will remove all the duplicates. It removes all the duplicates. So unique data can be maintained. The unique data, that means without any repetition, the data can be maintained. So the next one is uh, multi-user. So this database can be accessed by multiple users at a time, right? So access can be done by multiple users. I will tell you an example for this, right? So, and then protection. So, in this database, we can also secure the data. That means the data can be secured with some restrictions, right? So, providing the security for data access. This can also be done in database right so these are some objectives of database management system now where we have to use this database so applications the applications of dbms so we can use this dbms in any application like some airlines, business, e-commerce, e-commerce sites, universities, right? banking, it's very important, banking, so number of etc. There are a number of applications where we can use the database. Right? Actually here, the complete data will be stored in the form of tables. In the tables, there will be rows and columns. And rows are the information of a single person let us take an example for results okay results and the columns are the information or simply we can say attributes columns are attributes attributes right so from this table the data will be retrieved and it will be displayed on the screen so this is called uh, DBMS that means organizing the data the processing the data so that's why I call it as a data is a unorganized or uh, unorganized uh, information and the information is an organized manner that means we have to retrieve the data based upon some information I mean some processing right so this is all about the introduction about the DBMS so let's stop here and in the next session we'll go with the properties and the architecture of DBMS. Right? So thanks for listening and if you are having any doubts you can feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. So that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions, like my session, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.